Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to know how to create this beautiful and elegant lighted makeup organizer, continue watching. Here are the items you will need to complete this project. I will include them in the description below. I first removed the drawers and the little handles from eight of these two drawer organizers from Dollar Tree, spray painting the handles and the organizer shell. I really like these for this project because the drawers have a stopper and they will not fall emptying its contents. The goal here is to combine all organizers into just two separate units. Therefore, I will begin with gluing all organizers in twos side by side and then stack and glue the combined two to another combined two on top of each other and create two separate units by doing the same with the remaining organizers. It will make sense, just keep watching. I'm now gluing my acrylic makeup organizers together using E6000. I would suggest using an adhesive that will dry clear and definitely do not use hot glue in observable areas because it too will cause cloudiness. Now that the glue has dried on the acrylic makeup drawers, I will now glue beveled mirrors to the top and bottom of each drawer, carefully only putting the glue on the perimeter edges of the drawers. Are the mirrors for the back of my makeup organizer. I will paint the back of them to prevent any white showing through on my completed project. Using a glass cutter, I cut two 8x10 mirrors to size to fit the sides of my makeup mirror. As you can see, I'm no pro. I had jagged edges, but those edges are going to go towards the back of the makeup organizer and you will not see them because they will be covered by embellishments but the goal here was to make two-sided mirrors so that there is a view of the mirror on the inside and the outside of the makeup organizer now i'm measuring and cutting foam board to fit in between the two organizing units glued together earlier initially i glued three pieces of the foam board together but i had to add a fourth the purpose of this is to occupy space to make everything fit perfectly as you will see as we get further into the video. To give a mirrored effect to the foam boards, I measured, cut, and glued part of a silver serving tray to the foam boards without having to again cut actual mirrors to the size I needed. 
Using the gray paint used on the back of the mirrors earlier, I painted the white exposed areas of the foam board so that when I add my diamond mesh, there will be no visible white. Now we are going to see this makeup organizer begin to really come together. I will now glue the mirrored foam board in between the organizing units. I'm making sure the faux mirrored foam board centerpiece is well flush to the front of the makeup organizer. As I allow it to dry, I moved on to adding the feet to the base of the makeup organizer. I'm using Dollar Tree napkin rings for the feet, hot gluing diamond wrap around the napkin ring, followed with gluing one row of flowered mesh over the diamond wrap towards the bottom of each foot, creating a nice bling. I will now hot glue the feet to the bottom of the base of the makeup organizer and I will follow with gluing on my pre-sized and cut floor mat from Dollar Tree for a nice clean finish. Okay, now it's time to start assembling. I will glue the unit to the base and we're beginning to look more like a makeup organizer. Make certain to carefully make placement. Avoid too much adjusting because your glue will smear on your mirrors. But if it happens, you can clean it with an X-Acto knife or Goo Gone. I'm just showing you what it looks like right here, but after everything dried, I decided to fill the small space in the back of the foam board in the center of the makeup organizer, and I covered it with a piece of glitter foam. I will now glue the mirrors on the back of the makeup organizer. And the same applies, not too much adjusting because your glue will smear. As you can see, the back of my mirrors look different than initially. That's because there were a couple of mishaps, but I kept it moving, cut more mirrors, and it was even better because the center in the back would have been exposed, but I was able to cover it all. I decided I would cover the bottom on each side of the organizer by measuring, cutting, and gluing foam board, which will be painted gray on one side and I will glue a piece of the silver serving tray on the other side for a mirrored effect on the inside of the acrylic bottom drawer. And no worries, you will see where that foam board is. It will be covered with diamond wrap. Now it's time to move on to gluing the beveled mirrors on top of the makeup organizer. After the glue has dried and the mirrors have been cleaned well with glass cleaner, 
We will now glue the acrylic organizers on top the mirrors with a strong adhesive and a little hot glue in unseen areas for an immediate hold. I will now add some of the embellishments with diamond wrap. Here I will measure, cut, and glue the floor mat to the back of the makeup organizer for a clean finish. Adding more embellishment with the floral mesh. The seam will be covered with two rows of diamond wrap. More embellishments with floral mesh. Now it's time to put the drawers in place, but first we must put the little handles that were also spray painted silver back on the drawers and I created a usable knob with Dollar Tree pearls embedded with glue to an individual flower from floral mesh and at the end I will add diamond stickers on the open hole of each pearl for a nice finishing touch. I'm now adding silver wire LED lights from Dollar Tree along the back of the makeup organizer. I use hot glue to secure the LED lights in place. One final touch of embellishment. And this is my final look. You can recreate this beautiful makeup organizer with less or more of all the materials used. I know it will be gorgeous. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and share. And if you would like to see more of my creative ideas, Please subscribe. Have a wonderfully blessed day.